What's going on guys? Root from NoShell.com here today and we are looking at some more Python code. This is a tutorial, in fact this is your 14th tutorial on Python and today we're going to be looking at the if statement. Uh, the if statement is part of the branch of conditional statements or things that will only run or occur if a certain condition is met. And I feel like these are incredible and the most... one. I said this about a lot of things, that there are like so many important and crucial parts of programming, but the if statement is definitely up there on my list as well, because it, it's a, it allows your programs to be able to make decisions, it allows your program to be able to decide the logic flow, which way it'll go depending on the values and the variables that it's seeing, that are the things that are being inputted by the user. If you had a static program, it wouldn't be a program. The, the thing that makes the, a program so dynamic is being able to test and determine facts and things like that. So the if statement is definitely important. <laughs> but uh, enough rambling, I'll get idle started, and we can start taking a look at what, we'll be gonna, we're, what we're going to be doing today. Goodness gracious, I can't even speak, I'm so excited. So yeah, let's open up a new window, you can use uh, Control N. I'm going to get my shebang going on here. I'm going to save this as a uh, file.python. Overwrite that, and just to get the ball rolling, I'll print out "Hello World." So we got a little, we got some good, uh, we got some good output on the screen. And now let's make a couple variables. I'm gonna say, uh, hmm, what do we want? What do we want to do here? Let's say, uh, say, uh, virgins equals 72. <laughs> All right, and now that we got that going, we can create an if statement. Now the if statement is incredibly simple in the fact that it's so, like, realistic. It makes sense. If something is something, do something. And that might be a little so abstract, but if virgins is equal to 72, and see, we're using two, um, let's see, two equal, equal signs here, because we're testing if it, if it is equal to. We have the assignment operator, assignment operator, when it's a single equal sign and now we have the conditional equals conditional equals operator which just means is it equal to if is equal to now because virgins has been set to 72 this will return true this this is a correct condition so we can start up a code block here we're going to use those uh there's going to use those colons and indent our line so we can start new code on a different level of thinking it's in a different scope and that sort of thing it's, i don't know if it's in a different scope for sure but uh, hey um i'm going to get some comments here just so we have a little bit more structure in my eyes. I don't know about you, that is all about style. But here, if virgin is equal to 72, uh, we can do something. Let's say uh, Bin Laden was right, or something. And there you go. Uh, there you go. I mean, that, that's the simplest way it's going to get. If virgin is equal to 72, which it is, we've set up here, Bin Laden was right. And now we can say, uh, goodbye, world. Let's go. Run it with F5 and we can check it out. Hello, world. And Bin Laden was right. Goodbye, world. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty interesting program right there. So now let's let's do a thing. Let's set virgins equal to 71. So virgins is no longer equal to 72. Bin Laden is wrong. Goodbye, world. <laughs> let's try it again. We get hello, world, and goodbye, world. So now this is interesting. This is happening because 72... Uh, virgins is not equal to 72. The the variable virgins is not equal to 72 anymore. It's it's been set to 71. So it's not going to go through this code block here. It's going to completely skip it and disregard it and just go on with the rest of the program. Now we can avoid this in using different keywords and using a different sort of technique, but this is all that I wanted to comment in this video in this tutorial here. Uh, next, we're going to be checking out those statements. We're going to be looking at other ways to test things, whether it's larger than, greater than, larger than, actually, I'm sorry, less than, greater than, um, whether they're equal to and less than or greater than, that sort of thing, whether it's not, whether something and something else is true, so we can have some, uh, some logical operators in here, and it's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. 
because the if statement is such a powerful statement, there's so much more in it. And then soon we're going to get into looping and lots more things to come. But this was just a preliminary video to let you guys know how the syntax goes in Python. It's pretty simple. These can, these uh, these parentheses here are not mandatory, along with the pi with the semicolons that I do. But it's just good practice if you're used to working in other languages. Like if you're a C or a C++ guy, or if you plan on using that sort of language at one point, you're going to want all of these parentheses. You're going to want all of these semicolons, just because it makes... It makes it legitimate, it gives it a legitimate feel to it, and that's kind of all I'm for. <laughs> so, okay, I think that's enough for this video, we've got a lot coming, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.